air. And, you know, you go to dinner, off the air, people can be incredibly honest. Not that he's not on the air, but he did say, put it out there, he calls it the tournament. Um, He thinks he knows who the best team in the tournament is. I think San Francisco is the team to beat in this tournament. If you use the, the analytics of defense, scoring, run game, and you factored in some of these things, and I think, look, Debo has been kind of quiet. And and I just feel like they're a team that's won what nine in a row now. Yeah, yeah. What's interesting is how the Chargers and the Niners were banged up early. Both are healthy now, and there's an argument to be made. The scariest team in the AFC is the Chargers because they'll go in as underdogs. They're really healthy. They've got weapons, a star quarterback. Their centers back. They got pass rushers. Uh, and similarly, San Francisco banged up early. Now they're getting healthier. You know, the Niners are a great story because it's very rare. A lot of times great teams pay a lot of their money to two or three positions. But they got Kittle in the fifth round. Now he's well paid now. But they have a lot of Jennings, uh, Debo. It's amazing how well they've drafted. So they don't pay their quarterback anything right now. So, you know, San Francisco is in a unique spot in the off season. What do you do? They're going to let Garoppolo go. So it's going to be Trey Lance and Brock Purdy are going to battle for it. And I can tell you in this offensive system, accuracy, that's why Matt Ryan was an MVP in this system. Matt Schaub worked in this system. Garoppolo worked in this system. Brock Purdy works in this system. If you're inaccurate, that's Trey Lance's current liability. It doesn't work in this system. Now, Trey could be bigger, stronger, or more better athlete. But this offense, go look at its history. By the way, this offense is in Miami. Tua not big not mobile he's accurate so it'll be interesting my my takeaway is brock purdy is going to win this job they're going to feel pressured to play trey because of the capital they gave up the draft capital but this offense we have a system by the way kyle shanahan worked with kirk cousins in dc with his dad and he wanted to bring kirk cousins to san francisco because he's accurate so you can talk about who's better Trey Lance's number one weakness is Brock Purdy's number one strength, delivering at a 67 to 68% clip. That's why Shanahan's going to say, that's why if Brock Purdy gets this team to the Super Bowl, you're going to go into that locker room and tell him I'm making a change? Since week 14, Brock Purdy has the highest passer rating in the NFL. Did you see the confidence he had yesterday? First few games, Brock Purdy's happy to be there. He's locked in. Yesterday, he's doing the ice in my veins and flexing at the camera. That's new stuff from Brock Purdy. He's feeling himself right now in the system. This is scary. If you're Trey Lance watching this and you just had another surgery, did you see that report? Yeah, I saw that. It's like, oof. Listen, every every coach has, you know, certain things they want and certain things they don't. Defensive coaches hate turnovers. They don't like turnovers. Pete Carroll just no interceptions. Um, you know, run downhill. Offensive coaches tend to be a little more flexible. You can make some mistakes, but I'm looking for certain things. This offensive system in Miami and San Francisco, they don't want playmakers running out of their design play. Go back. We'll get you weapons. Throw strike. Drew Brees in this system with Sean Payton. You win a lot of games. Drew Brees last three years in the league did not throw the ball down the field. I mean, it was 15, 18 yards and under. It was wildly successful. By the way, GM of the year, uh, 49ers GM, drafted Brock Purdy with the last pick, and that Christian McCaffrey trade is looking real nice the way McCaffrey's playing. I do worry that they're, that Christian McCaffrey, they got to get more Debo. I don't want Christian McCaffrey. I don't know how many touches he had yesterday. but A lot. A lot. And the kid Mason looks like a thumper behind uh, tw- number 24, I believe. He looks tough. I, I, this 49ers team, I'm with Peyton. I think they're Super Bowl bound out of the NFC. I am fascinated. So now the Chargers job is off the market. Because Brandon Staley is going to retain the job. Spanoses don't like to pay a fortune for their co Find a New Year's resolution. Yeah, I'm one of those, like, I got I to gotta eat a little healthier. Because, oh, okay. you know, I, I'm active. I do right. sports and uh, work out. But I don't eat well just because I love just dessert and mm-hmm. sugar. So I'm going to try, try to go no candy as long as I can for 20 20- 23. Well, I a- mean, like, listen, I got a lot of, ki- like, I asked for gummy bears in my stocking from Santa. And I've devoured a couple, you know, there's Haribo <laughs> gummy bears. Don't send me any Haribo. I'll just send them to my brother. But, um, yeah, like cutting out sugar is kind of would be a good one. Okay, so right. here are New Year's resolutions in the NFL. In the NFL. Okay, let's hear them. So most people want to lose weight. 
I think the Jets should lose 214 pounds, the exact weight of Zach Wilson. <laughs> so he has the worst passer rating in the NFL back-to-back -back years. There's already been reports by Jay Glazer they are moving off. They have not made the playoffs in 12 seasons. We're not here to pick on Zach, but I think it's time. It's time to. We're not here to pick on Zach. They just got to cut the dead weight. Just to drop. Come on. How about um, many of us want to get organized? The Colts, it's time to bring in a professional. They got to get organized. So since Andrew Luck left, it's been a disaster. It's time to get clean up the locker room, clean up the coaching staff. Seven different starting quarterbacks since Andrew Luck retired early. Worst, worst fourth quarter point differential. Absolutely a disaster. The worst fourth quarter team in the league. Let's get organized. Now it's also it's good. How about this? It's good for anybody to invest their money wisely. Yeah. Ravens pay Lamar Jackson. Ooh. Yeah, because since Lamar Jackson has not played, you're. Um, You've been held to 17 points or less every game this month, and you're unwatchable. Tyler Huntley's just not an NFL player. Lamar Jackson is 45 and 16. I'm sorry he's he's not perfect in the playoffs, but he's won a playoff game. But if the Ravens don't have Lamar Jackson in that division with Joe Burrow, Kenny Pickett looks good. I don't like Deshaun Watson, but he's capable. You can't have the fourth best quarterback in a division. Just go pay Lamar Jackson. I can relate to this one. You know, few years ago travel more Tom Brady you need to travel more like go to Vegas <laughs> or maybe maybe drive down to Miami listen you're 45 years old you make the playoffs every year this Tampa Bay team has a lot of free agents doesn't have the right coaches you've always been somebody willing to take chances Tom that's a Greyhound bus right there. Yeah, by what the way, you know who Tom's first call is when he ex accepts to go to Vegas Devonte Adams hey hey Tay Adams why don't you stick around how about that guy yesterday? He's oh, unbelievable. He's the best receiver you, in the league. You've got to recruit him to stay because, it, you know, he's Derek Carr's guy. He's the best receiver in the league. Cooper Cup may have something to say about that. Well, Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase. Just All right. Him. You know, a lot of people, my wife does this. I want to read more this year. So for Arizona and Kyler Murray, read more. <laughs> they had to put a study clause in his contract. Career lows in touchdown passes, rushing yards, Let's get the study contract out. Let's get off the video games. Read that playbook. Get it memorized. You're way too talented to screw up your career. Don't. How about this? A lot of people, self-care, spa, relieving stress. Yes. Mac Jones, do more yoga. Reduce oh, the stress okay. of Matt Patricia. And this, because you can tell Mac is screaming at people, yelling at people. He's not happy. Uh, seven of the Patriots, 36 touchdowns are defensive. He's regressed badly. I don't want to see this guy in the playoffs, by the way. They're not a fun watch, you know? Oh, God, no. So, Mac, relieve stress. How about this? Some people are like, I want to find love. Derek Carr, find an organization that loves you. Be like a bachelor. <laughs> Go on a few dates. Because he loves the Raiders, but the Raiders don't love him back. They do not. He unfollowed them on social media. I Did know. you see that? That's a trend now, isn't it? Yes. Listen, he had the lowest passer rating since the beginning of his career. They've had six coaches. They can't get the old line right. I just looked at PFF yesterday. It's like bottom seven in the league. This organization, he has only ever wanted to be a Raider, and it feels uneven. They don't love him as much as he loves them. Go in a few days. It's, it's a tough breakup for Derek Carr. Last but not least, I know Americans work hard. Some of you people, you got to get more sleep. Jeff Saturday, sleep in more, especially on Sundays. <laughs> um, Jeff is a great guy. He is a wonderful guy. If you say so, I'll, I'll take your word. He's for a great it. guy. You see him trash cave on Thibodeau today? Going after him, call him classless. I know. Here's the thing. I wouldn't mind having Jeff Saturday on my staff, but being a head coach is hard. He's never done it before. It's in right, by the way, in the middle of a season. He didn't even get a camp, didn't get an OTA. You just injected him into the middle of a season. He could have said no. Well, I mean, Jim Ursay made him a millionaire. He was a million. He played in the NFL for a decade or whatever. Come on, he's that guy's got money. Hey, this money. is an ego thing. I could just, I could just step in and coach in the NFL. He got that one win the first week. Remember? Since then, just an embarrassment. Well, I mean, come on. Why, why did he put Nick Foles out there, by the way? Nick Foles did not want to be playing football. You guys minded his own business, collecting a paycheck on the bench, on the practice squad. 
And Nick Foles goes in. I did he I hope he didn't break his collarbone. He got destroyed. And, and, and the guys, you know, feel bad for Nick Foles. So those are our New Year's resolutions for 2023. So Sean Payton was on for about 45 minutes earlier today. And.